Many visually impaired people rely on guide dogs to help them navigate their world, but what happens when the one who is going blind is the dog? Well, sadly, there aren't a lot of options, but two Georgia friends are hoping to change that. Okay, boy. Dory Stratton's dog, Scotty hey, boy. boy, is also blind. And my husband said to me, nobody wants a blind dog. I said, I know, that's why I'm going to go get him. <laughs> But right out of the gate, he was just having a hard time navigating. And I said, there's got to be something we can do to help him. That's when Dory called Ellen, who runs an alterations business. She said, I want something that'll wrap around his body comfortably, something that'll extend beyond his face to keep him from banging his nose. And that's how the halo vest was born. Oscar here is wearing one of the first prototypes of this vest, and it took a while to find the right material, the right way to secure the wire, and the right material for the halo. But after about six weeks, they found it. Russ, look, look, he's not, he's not bumping his head. It's working, it's working. <laughs> Moses, a 13-year-old blind Scotty rescue, was one of Halo Vest's first customers. And he got where he kept his head down so we'd hit his forehead all the time. With the vest, it's different because he bounces off the uh, Dr. The Andrew halo says if you're noticing that your dog is hesitating in low light or seems to be having trouble seeing, get it checked out by your vet. And if you want to read more about this halo vest, just go to myfoxatlanta.com.